Okay, so the goal of this uh, Hack Week project was improving Yast, the configuration tool Susa is famous for. So Yast is written in a YCP, which is a proprietary language, which is not really suited for writing such a complex application like Yast. So we uh, started a project in January actually to convert the whole code base, which consists of about 40, uh, 400 thousand lines of code into Ruby using a transpiler. So before the hack week, we got into a state where we were able to compile and run one Yast module. Uh, but Yast has about 150 modules. So the goal of the hack week was to increase the number of converted modules as much as possible. So this task is easily parallelizable. So we built a team of five people and split the modules and worked uh, during the week. And we were quite successful. So at this point, uh, almost 60% uh, of the modules are either compiled or we have decided that we don't want to uh, compile them into Ruby at all because, for example, they, uh, they consist of just some uh, example files or other, other things. So uh, we are, uh, for some of the modules, we already package them in the build service and we can actually run them. So we will now show you a short demo. So let's see two modules. Uh, one of them is the proxy module. As you can see, the sources are in Ruby. So we'll be setting one configuration variable uh, to a different value. So uh, just proxy. Let's change it to um, something different. Different.com. OK. And if when we grab it, it's something something different. Now for a second module, uh, let's let's do the run level. So first, it's in Ruby again, and it is running. You can see the descriptions are changing, and that's about it for now. Okay, so for the next weeks, we want to uh, continue working on the project, increase the number of converted modules even more, and eventually we'd like to uh, transition the whole Yas code base into Ruby, hopefully in time for SNES 12.